I'm in a very privileged position of looking after people visiting the UK, specifically London. London at the moment is being billed as the most exciting city in the world. I'm particularly attracted to Marylebone mm -hmm. because it has the feel of a village about it, a village within the city. So it's a wonderful place to wander around and lose yourself and daydream. I would start at Marble Arch, then I'd wander up down Oxford Street, take a left by Selfridges, and then go on into Manchester Square. And then I'd go into the Wallace Collection. The Wallace Collection is a town mansion that belonged to the Marquesses of Hartford, and it was built up over four generations. And it's a fabulous collection of European furniture and paintings. And it's a wonderful way to get an insight as to how a house of a very rich aristocrat might have looked. I particularly recommend you look out the Van Dyck, Franz Hals, Laughing Cavalier, and then of course the magnificent collection of Canalettos, which is second only to that of the Queen. There's a set of armour from 1480, which is just so magnificent and so dramatically displayed. And from there, I would wander up Marylebone High Street, and there's wonderful food shops. Look out for the cheese shop. And I would also stop for a while at Daunt Bookshop, which is a wonderful old specialist travel bookshop with oak galleries and skylights. You never know what tome you'll find. I would then stroll down to Chilton Street and take my time to just absorb all the different types of shops, the different styles. In terms of stopping to eat, I recently discovered something called Carousel. Personally, what I like about Carousel is eating in an informal but stylish environment, aesthetically pleasing to the eye, comfortable chairs, great staff, and a wonderfully warm atmosphere. They're very inclusive. I think, after spending a few hours in Marylebone, one would walk away with a wonderful sense or notion of a village community thriving within a big city.